Today we're going to learn a little bit more about fact families. Fact families show how operations are related. So for instance, multiplication and division are related, and addition and subtraction are related, so we are able to write fact families for some of those numbers using those operations. I'm going to go ahead and write down a fact family for the numbers 3, 7, and 10. And this is going to be an addition and subtraction fact family, because addition and subtraction are inverse operations are inverse operations. Let's go ahead and write down that fact family for 3, 7, and 10. 3 plus 7 equals 10, right. And then so just as we have 3 plus 7 equaling 10, we'll also have 7 plus 3 equaling 10. And then so we have related subtraction facts for this fact family. So we've got 10 minus 7 does equal 3, just as 10 minus 3 equals 7. You'll notice in each of these equations, we used each of these numbers, 3, 7, and 10, once. This is the addition and subtraction fact family for those numbers, to relate those numbers all together. It shows how addition and subtraction are related. So you might have the instructions as follows, write the fact family for the set of numbers. Just as addition and subtraction were inverse operations, multiplication and division are inverse operations. So we're trying to relate these numbers to 7 and 14. We'll start off with the multiplication fact. 2 times what number? Let's go with 7 does equal 14. Just as we have 2 times 7, if we reverse that multiplication fact, we have 7 times 2 equaling 14. Now we'll start with 14, and then we're going to go the opposite way there. Opposite way, that's what I mean. 14 divided by 7 does equal 2. And then we'll also write our other fact there, that 14 divided by 2 does equal 7. So this is the fact family for 2, 7, and 14, relating all of those numbers together. It's a multiplication and division fact family. Hey, it's your turn to try. Write the fact family for the set of numbers. 6, 7, 42, 8, 9, and 17. You should end up having four equations for each of those there. Go ahead and hit pause. should have ended up with four equations for each of those fact families. This is the fact family that I'm circling here for 6, 7, and 42. The order of those facts does not matter just as long as you have all four of them. This is the fact family for 8, 9, and 17. It's an addition and subtraction fact family because addition and subtraction are inverse operations. 8 plus 9 equals 17. 9 plus 8 equals 17. 17 minus 8 equals 9, and 17 nine minus 9 equals 8. Uh, that is the fact family for 8, 9, and 17. Again, this is a fact family relating the numbers 3, 5, and 15. 3 times 5 is 15. 5 times 3 is 15. 15 divided by 3 is 5, and 15 divided by 5 is 3. We've got the fact family for 3, 5, and 15. It's a multiplication and division fact family. Show you another example. We've got 5, 5, and 25. The reason I want to show you this example is I want to point out that in this fact family, we actually only have two. We've got two number sentences, equations that we can end up writing. So 5 times 5 equals 25, and 25 divided by 5 equals 5. Those are equations for this fact family, relating the numbers 5, 5, and 25 together. One last thing to show you here. This is an array. This is what we call an array. An array has rows and it has columns. And then so, going across, these here are the rows. So this array has two rows. It's got two rows. Those are our rows. This array has one, two, and three, and what we call those are columns. 
those are columns. And then so we can write multiplication sentences about this array, and we can write division sentences about this array. So we could write this two rows, and then there's three columns, two times three equals that total of six, equals that total of six. Or we could talk about the columns. We've got three columns, and the three columns, if we look at the three columns, one column, two column, and three columns, each of those columns has two in them, has two in them, has two because there's two rows. And then so three times two does equal six. Now if we looked at this again, six divided by three, we've got six as our total. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six. And if we were to break it out in, by the number of columns, by the number of columns, if we break up that total by the number of columns, if we take a look at that there, by the number of columns, we've got, hey, there's there, 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 there. And each of those, there's two in each of those columns. Now, if we broke that up by the number of rows, six divided by two, and we looked at those number of rows in our array, we looked at those numbers of rows, yeah, six divided by two is three. Six divided by two is three. Draw a little line there so that you can go ahead and see that a little more clearly. And then so that's how it is that we're talking about these things here. We're relating multiplication to division together. That's just a new word for you. Array. You might have seen that before. Other rows, it's columns. Other words, columns and rows. So again, what's going up and down here? These are the columns. Whereas this, these are rows coming across. That was just one more way to look at this fact family relating the numbers 2, 3, and 6 together with the multiplication and division fact family.